all 2022 International LTs are equipped with a master battery disconnect. It is recommended that when the truck is going to sit for more than 48 hours, the disconnect is switched off. Utilize the lamp check button for your pre-trip walk around. Depress the button, the indicator will turn green and it will cycle through all marker, head and tail lights as you walk around the truck for 90 seconds. In order to properly drain the equipped Davco 483, place a receptacle underneath the drain valve, open the valve and release approximately two ounces of fuel. Dispose of the fuel in an environmentally safe way. To perform a visual inspection on the air disc brakes, look for loose airline connections, look for oil buildup, and any cracking, chipping, or heat marks on the rotor. Getting to know the control layout in your new 2022 International LT. Starting on the driver door, lock and unlock, driver and passenger side window, mirror heat, cab mirror adjustment. Moving over to the dash, exterior light controls, including automatic twilight feature, dimmer wheel for dash lights, pre-trip inspection lamp check, work light switch. Work lights will automatically turn on when the truck is in reverse up to 10 miles per hour. Moving to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have your directional which includes wiper speed and windshield washer as well as brights. The left hand steering wheel pod includes cruise control and marker interrupt. The right hand pod includes radio control, and headlight interrupt. Moving over to the right-hand side of the steering wheel, our sh stock shifter for the automated transmission and jake brake setting, and our pagination switch to sort through the menus in the premium gauge cluster. Moving to the center controls, standard AM FM weather band radio, Smart drive control, lane departure disable for construction zones, auto start stop enable, auxiliary antenna for supplied Sirius XM radio, power divider lock, off road traction control disable, hill descent disable, interior light override, sleeper light controls, fifth wheel slide hazard switch, sleeper temperature control, sleeper fan control, fifth wheel in cab release, heated mirror control, parked regen switch. To operate the in cab fifth wheel release, set all safety interlocks, truck in neutral, parking brake on, ignition in the on position. Depress the switch to unlock the fifth wheel and the indicator will blink. Release parking brake. Put truck in drive and slowly pull forward to make sure that the fifth wheel has released. Once truck is clear, return to neutral. Pull parking brake. Auto start stop function to enable set all safety interlocks, transmission in neutral, parking brake set, hood closed. Turn ignition to off and depress the auto start stop button. System is engaged when green LED stays steady lit. Depress no idle heat or no idle cool switch on the bunk panel as desired. The system will retain and resume settings after each run cycle. Horn will sound before engine starts. To disable, Press and release the auto start stop switch again on the instrument panel, green LED light will go out. If attempting to use auto start stop system and green LED indicator is flashing, safety interlocks are not set. Those interlocks are hood closed, parking brake set, 
and truck in neutral. To extract fault codes from the premium gauge cluster, the truck must be in a key on or accessory position in neutral with the parking brake applied. Use the toggle to scroll over right to the alerts tab where you will see vehicle, engine, ABS, and transmission. If a fault is present, toggle down to the fault type, press OK, and the SPN number will display in the premium cluster. To go back to your standard setting, hit the back button. To access the load gauge in the premium cluster, use the toggle switch to move over to the right. To the truck tab, click OK and the axle load gauge will display. To go back to your default setting of miles per hour, hit the back button twice. To engage the engine brake, take the stock shifter and push it down for setting one, down again for setting two, and down once more for setting three. When the engine brake is engaged, the green engine brake light will illuminate in the display field just below the RPM gauge on the right side of the premium cluster. The no idle heat control is located on the back wall of the sleeper on the driver's side. To enable the system, press the power button until it says heater enabled. To adjust the temperature down, hit the blue arrow to your desired temperature. To adjust the temperature up, hit the red arrow. To turn off the system, hit the power button. The display will say heater stopped. To operate the battery HVAC system, Select the no idle cool switch, which will illuminate green. Adjust your fan speed up or down with the fan arrow. Adjust your temperature up or down with the green and red arrows. To disable the system, depress the no idle cool switch. The fan will shut off and the green LED will go out. To access the power inverter for a reset when it is in a fault state, first lift the bunk. There are latches on the left and right side. The inverter is located on the other side of this panel. To reset the inverter, reach around to the reset button, which is on the lower passenger side and depress the button for a full reset. To operate the bunk work surface, to press the button to reveal the access knob, pull the surface out until it locks. To store the surface, press the safety tab, push the surface in until it clicks, and store the access knob.